We made it. Finally back out on the water again. We haven't been out here since June. We've just been so busy around the house and work. I haven't had a chance to get out. Be out here for eight days, seven nights. We've arrived at the lean-to. A little windy out there. Probably not going to be doing any fishing here. Today at least. I'm going to go check out. There's a little pond about 0.3 miles away from here that we're going to check out. A little bushwhack pond. Go check that out. and maybe fish that today, but this pond, it's real windy out there. Uh, we can bring our stuff up to the lean-to and go from there. Finally got to try out my new boots. Waterproof Portage boots. NRS Boundary. I wish they were a little bit taller, but I like them. I'll put a link up in the description box to them. I forget what I paid for them. They weren't too much. Got a couple ribeye steaks, some broccoli, potatoes. I'm not exactly sure what Tracy's going to eat, but... So we just had a nice breakfast. We're going to head over to this little pond 
bushwhack over to this little pond and do some fishing for a few hours. It's a little too windy on the pond we're staying at. So the pond we're going to is a little, quite a bit smaller. So we didn't go over there the last time we were here. So we scoped it out last night just to check out where the, where the, how to get there and so now we're headed over there. Hopefully catch some fish. Got one. About time. Yes. About time we got something. That's a keeper. That made my day. I was worried I was going to be skunked here today. Little guy. Perfect for the campfire. I know what I'm having for dinner. I'd like to be able to stay out here and do a little more fishing, but this wind is really fighting us bad. We got a fish now, so I'm going to head back. We're going to head back to camp. We gotta go get firewood, we got a bunch of stuff to do. Finally got to try out my new rod holders. These are really nice. A little bit pricey, but they're definitely worth it. The last time I was at the, at this place, I lost my rod holder because it just didn't clamp on very tight. These are really solid, and they're all they're on this ball. It's all adjustable, so you can tilt it. Of course now it's almost like glass out there, but at least we got something. I'm gonna go back, cook it on the fire. Looks like Tracy's got the fire going good for us. Nice. Finally got to try out my new saw, the Silky Big Boy. Folding saw.
Definitely cuts good. Doesn't weigh very much. Very sharp. I'll put a link up in the description box. Definitely a good saw. Some nice bacon cheeseburgers. Fish is about done. We got some sugar snap peas. More potatoes. Should be good. I doubt we're going to be able to get out on the water again tonight. By the time we're done eating, it's going to be dark. But we'll get an early start tomorrow morning. Nice way to end the day, making some s'mores. It was a good day. Finally got on the board. Hopefully we get some more fish tomorrow. Gonna get an earlier start. We'll just have some oatmeal for breakfast quick here and get out on the water while it's calm. It was pretty windy today. It was a real pain to try to troll fighting the wind the whole time. Our favorite treat out here. Well, we're headed over to another pond. Gonna, we were fishing for a little while on the pond that we are camped on. But I had one worm stolen, that was it. So, we're gonna head over to another pond. It's just a short little carry. And then there's another pond past that like 0.4 miles we might go up and try that one too if this one if there, we don't have any luck on this pond but 
per like perfect weather for today, but a little bit windy. Not too bad though. on the next pond. It's a little bit breezy out here. I'm going to try to fish it for a little bit at least. But the next pond up is a little smaller. So we might head up there. We may not stay here too long. This boat is not very good in the wind. It doesn't take very much wind to make it really hard to troll. Yeah, so we're going to reel in and then check out the potential campsite up here on this pond and then paddle up to where the portage route is to the next pond up because I don't know if it's just the wind down here, but I haven't even got a bite on this pond. So and we want to try out that other pond. So while we're over here, we might as well. on this little pond. It's quite the trail to get here. It's pretty rough. Hopefully the fishing's pretty good and make it worth it. Well, this pond, it's just too windy on this pond. I'm not going to waste my t our time anymore. Just going to start heading back towards camp. It's like impossible to try to fish. The boat's just going everywhere. Almost lost my boot. Doesn't look bad out there right now. Maybe, maybe it'll be promising as far as fishing goes. That's a nice one. Ooh. Nice rainbow. Woo. Yeah.
I ended up letting him go, but he's nice. Perseverance pays off. Nice, nice. Those are some really hard hits. It's out of nowhere. Now it's starting to rain. Maybe that's why the fish started biting. Tracy's busting up some firewood. We got the fire going good. I'm gonna make some dinner. Looks like we're gonna be having steak tonight. Steak, potatoes, and broccoli. Sounds good to me. Tracy's over here sawing up some wood for later on. Steaks are almost done. Should be pretty good. Usually is. We definitely eat good out here. It is delicious. Good morning. So we're headed over to the uh, little pond where I caught the brook trout the other day. It's about eight o'clock this in the morning. Water's really calm here. So hopefully we'll have some good luck this morning. Go fish there for a little while. And then we're gonna come back and make a nice big breakfast. Oh, I got a fish.
Didn't even know I had anything on there. Nice brookie. So yay, another brookie. I didn't even realize I had anything on there because I kept getting hooked up into the weeds. So I was reeling both the lines in and then the one felt a little funny. Nice little brookie on there. Did it, did it feel a little fishy? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Well, there's a little fish on it. I had no idea. A little guy. Thought I was getting bites. Tiny little thing. Little guy. Love these cold handle pans. This one here with the bacon in it, the new one I just got, pretty decent size. Some onions in there, some of the potatoes. Bacon's just about done. So we got some bacon, eggs, cheddar cheese, bell pepper, onion, and potatoes. Looks good.
tastes good. This is the first trip we've used this uh, barrel, food barrel. We've got this harness for it. It's a recreational barrel works. This is a 60 liter. It's nice though. Top comes off like that. It's got all these nice compartments. That way you can sort all the food out. Little pouches with keep different things in. It's got a nice little cooler. Everything stayed nice and cold. It's a nice way to organize the food. And like I said, these are like the spices. Different different compartments here. Packs away pretty easy too. You just put one of the bigger compartments and then you put the little pouch on the side of it like that. Then the cooler. Put it off to one side a little bit like that. Then you put more compartments there. Probably put this one here. And then the top. Yeah, works pretty good. Not bad. I'll put a link up in the description box to this, but it's Recreational Barrel Works. This is the 60 liter with the harness. Tracy just got done sweeping out the lean-to. We got some firewood here, along with some stuff to start the fire. Poured a bunch of water over the fire, so that's cool to the touch now. We're heading over to another campsite because we've been here three nights, and that's that's the rules. Three consecutive nights at a campsite, so we're going to go off to another one, and then probably just for one night, and then come back here. It was supposed to rain towards the end of our trip here, so we'd rather be under the lean-to for that at least. So, go load the boat up and go set up camp somewhere else for a night. stayed at this other campsite the last time we were here in June. It's a nice site. Yeah, I brought the my double blade paddle along just to see if it might be a little better for when we're fishing and stuff. I'm trying it now. I like it so far. Might be better for trolling. It's not bad out here. Maybe get up, set up and do a little fishing. Really nice view. 
The tarps uh, all set up. This is the uh, Bushcraft USA. I believe it's a 10 by 12. Got the chairs all set up underneath of it just in case it rains. Should be a nice sunset, hopefully. Tracy's got the tent all set up over there. Nice little table over here. There's a little bag of wood here. Look like scrap pieces of lumber, mostly. Um, nice little cove here. Little cut out to put the boat. I really like this site. Nice setup. <laughs> I guess Sammy doesn't want to go fishing. Yeah, I got something. Yeah, a sunny. That's what they are. Yeah. I'm a real in. Today's big catch. <laughs> that's all. I figured that's what it was. Those little nibbles. Yeah. Oh, we're going to go in now. I got my huge fish for the night. Big trophy. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna go in and get the fire going and start making some dinner. That's tonight's dinner. Some, we're gonna have some cheeseburgers and some sausages. Maybe some pretzels for like a snack to go with it. Pretty cool light show.
We're just fishing our way back to the lean-to. And we're going to go hiking for the day after some breakfast here. Get set up at the lean-to. And there's a little river that we're going to go check out. It's like 1.8 mile hike. The trail's a little muddy. Sure is pretty. Some big bees nest. Got to the little river. Let's see if there's somewhere I can fish and then fish for a little while, have some snacks, and then get back to camp. I'm loving this saw. Well, I was just gathering firewood along the side of the pond. And I wound up falling in. Boots are going to be wet for a while. I got my other um, NRS boots. I'll just have to wear them.
let these dry out. Burgers, a sausage, some bacon for the burgers. We got some broccoli steaming up in there. This is dinner. I got a sausage, bacon, cheeseburger, some broccoli. Tracy's got a bacon, egg, and cheeseburger with some broccoli. I even made Sammy an egg and some bacon. He'll be happy about that. The good boy. Wrapped up in his blanket. Sammy must hear something. What is it? Started some bannock. Got a little bit of cinnamon and some raisins in it. It's pretty windy today. Hopefully we can get out and do some fishing later, but as soon as we got up this morning, it was just windy like crazy. So we're hanging out at the lean-to for a little bit and have some bannock and we'll go from there. Panic's done. I'm gonna put some cinnamon on there, cinnamon sugar. It's good stuff, real easy to make too. You can add whatever you want, blueberries, raisins. We put raisins in most of the time. A little bit of butter. 
solar charger is out here doing its thing had that thing a few years definitely helps recharge my phone and the GoPro batteries it was just a cheap one from Amazon but it works there's definitely no shortage of work around camp that's for sure especially firewood While we're waiting for the wind to calm down, we're just going to do firewood for a little bit and get that stockpiled. Hopefully get out on the water. We'll see. See me. Not too bad yet, so far. This is awesome. Easy with it. Easy, easy. Don't reel it in really much more than that. What is it? It's a big bullhead. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Wow, that's a first for us. While well, trolling at least. So yay, Tracy's finally on the board. Nice fat little bullhead. Hoping for some rainbow trout or there's native lake trout on this pond too. So one of those would be nice to get next. I couldn't believe the fight that that thing put up. Turning around, bud. Heading back. <laughs>
Okay, this is what we did earlier. Got a bunch of hardwood on the left, pine on the right, bunch of sticks. Small sticks to get the fire going. Should be all set. And then we got a pile here that we can still process up. So it's early morning. We're heading over to the pond where we caught the brook trout. We go fishing there for a little while. Go back to camp, have some breakfast. And then maybe try one more time on the pond we're staying at. Just haven't had much luck on that one. That one. We were casting for a little while and then that wasn't working out too well so we started trolling and finally got something. Looks like I got another fish in. Oh yeah. This one looks pretty decent. Not huge, but... Let him calm down for a minute. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm just a little upset that we weren't able to release it, but took the hook pretty bad so I'm gonna cook that one over fire tonight for dinner Nice orange meat. Should taste pretty good. It's gone right in the bacon grease. Trout's frying up in the bacon grease. Got some pasta boiling up. Tracy's over there sawing away. She likes it because it keeps her warm. Sawing it and burning it. 
Dinner should be done shortly. It's our final night here. Sadly. Very sadly. Looks pretty good. I'm excited about that brook trout. What's your verdict with the pasta, Tracy? It's good. Good. Lean to fry pans. Does anybody actually use these things? Everyone I see are so disgusting, I don't think I'd want to cook anything in them. Probably just garbage left behind. sad part of the trip, the breaking down of the tent. So the lean-to is all cleaned out, I swept it all out, we got plenty of stuff here for the next person to, for starting a fire, a little birch bark in there, some bigger stuff, a couple logs underneath the lean-to, fire pit's cool to the touch. We're ready to go. Unfortunately. Love this time of year. My favorite time of year to camp. Perfect temperature. I feel it's the beautiful, most beautiful time of year. All the colors. But time to get going. Sammy's got his rain gear on. Kind of looks a little bit like a clown, but it'll keep him dry. 
What do you think, bud? Don't want him getting cold. And we're gonna set off now. Boat's all loaded up. Oh look! An adult loon and a juvenile loon just popped up literally right next to our boat, like three feet away from the boat. Kind of startled me a little bit. We usually avoid them. If we see the loons, we stay right away from them. But when they pop up right next to you, it's kind of tough. doing one little lap around this this part of the lake here before we get out get on the trail back to the car it's been a great trip so far beautiful weather had some nice fish had a couple brookies over the campfire another great time out in the Adirondacks. Those are bites. Feels like I got something on this time. There's something. Weeds. No! A little sunny. <laughs> well, that's the catch of the day today, I guess. I'm gonna paddle back now, and that'll end this year's trout season with the sunny. we're just taking a little break on the trail here we're almost back to the car so the trip's pretty much over I appreciate you guys watching and if you liked the video if you could like comment and subscribe I'd appreciate that as well it was a great trip and can't wait for the next one till next time you're gonna say bye Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>